Hey guys, Steve here from the Cook Family Homestead, and today I wanted to show you this saw I picked up a few weeks ago. It is a Admiral 12 inch sliding miter saw. Picked it up from Harbor Freight. Actually, they had none in stock. <laughs> I had a coupon for $20 off. They were normally $199. I called every Harbor Freight within 80, 90, 100 miles. None had them. <laughs> So I actually ordered it online. It only cost $6.99 to ship and I got it here in like less than a week. So was pretty happy with all that. So I wanted to show you this saw. I've been using it quite a bit. As you can see, we <laughs> have a ton of construction going on here at the homestead. We're building some bedrooms in the basement. And I also do a lot of woodwork, uh, framing and stuff. We make pictures and stuff like that, so I'll show you some of that as well. But I wanted to show you this saw because I've been really impressed with it. It has been outstanding, and for the money, you can't beat it. I got it for $179 with a coupon and $6.99 to ship. But I want to show you some of the features and how it comes out of the box and, and uh, all those other things. So let's check it out. All right, like I said, I've already used this a ton, and uh, what, but I should have probably did an unboxing on this, but I'll, I'll tell you how it comes in the box. It basically comes all assembled except for this part. It's kind of a clamp to hold down uh, any wood pieces. Uh, that all you do is slide it in there, it comes in this piece, and then also the blade. You have to put the blade on, but other than that, it pretty much comes all assembled. Now, when I was looking for a new miter saw, the one thing I wanted was I definitely wanted the sliding capability. And uh, I'll unlock that real quick. And I also wanted a 12 inch because, you know, I do occasionally cut four by fours and things like that. And uh, I really wanted the ability to do that. So that's the reason I went with a 12 inch. This is called, a, this actually has a couple features that I also really like. Right here, if you can see, this is your blade, uh, locks down your, so like when you're putting it away, that's I keep it locked down like that. And the other thing it has is this dual bevel. And what that means is you can, there's two ways to do it. You can turn your blade like this, there's a release here, and you can turn your blade to four, up to 45 degree angle there. Or, I don't know if you can see, let me turn the camera here. There's a handle here you loosen, and then there's a little, right here, uh, a latch that actually you lift up to turn it where you want it, and you can go to 45 actually right there. And I was pretty, the only thing I really had to adjust on it when I got it was, let me show you here, let me get it set back to zero there, is um, the this part here. I had to put a square down from, here to here um, to make sure the blade, and I had to adjust this uh, a little bit, and there's a little screw right here. I'll try to sh show it to you a little bit better. There. That you adjust so you can get your blade, you know, at a 90 degree angle. Actually, it's pretty, very easy. That's the only thing I had to adjust, actually, the saw itself, I had the 45s and all that, that was actually pretty accurate. I've done a bunch of frames for pictures, you know, the corners you gotta do for the frames and they've worked really well. A Couple other features I really like on this. Let me see if I can get this over so you can see it. And which I was actually surprised <laughs> that worked really good is there is a light on it right here. If you can see, I'll turn that on. So it has a little work light and it actually is really nice when you're cutting. And it also has a laser guide. Oh, let me turn the other switch. And I'll see if you can see it on here. Maybe we'll put a piece of wood in there so you can see it. Let me grab a piece of wood. So if you put your piece of wood in here like that, see if you can see it on there. Zoom in a little bit so you can see, hopefully. But there's a little laser mark on here, right here. And I am very surprised how actually accurate that laser is. Now, it's always gonna cut, like if you're measuring, you wanna come to this side of the blade. So like if you're cutting a piece, you know, from here to here, that laser is gonna go from here to this side of the blade. 
So you, you can never measure from that, but it actually is pretty accurate. So um, whenever you're measuring and I've, I've lined up a few pieces and used that laser to try it out and it actually was pretty close. So pretty impressed with that. And, um, but overall it has been a really, really good saw. All right, couple more quick things on this saw. The only thing that I would say that is, you know, maybe a complaint, which really isn't that big of a complaint, is the metal, if you can see, I don't know, even know if you can see some of these imperfections. It's just not, you can see some of the grind marks, you know, like over here, you know, it's just not, it's, it's just not as pretty as, you know, you'd probably step up in price. But, you know, if that's my only complaint, I'm okay with this. I mean, the base itself, and this is all machined and it seems really true uh, on all my cuts so far. And I've cut a lot, a lot on this thing. And uh, so for the price point, you can't beat it. It's done everything I've wanted it to. And I wanted, uh, and it, oh, oh, real, one other quick thing is it does come with a 12 inch blade and it is fine finish. I don't know how many teeth are on this, maybe 40 tooth saw. But uh, it cuts really good. I've cut four by fours, two by fours, two by sixes. Um, I've cut pretty much everything on this and it has had zero issues. Done everything I wanted. Cut very, very, very nicely. So here, and also the stand here I purchased. I purchased the stand at Lowe's. I'll do a review on it. It's a Delta stand. Love this stand. I mean, if you're gonna get a stand, don't get the Harbor Freight one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I actually was gonna get the Harbor Freight one, but they were out of stock. Uh, all of them, except the real cheap one they had in stock, I think the $64 one. But uh, they didn't have the Chicago or the Hercules stand. And I was actually going to buy one if they had it. And I'm glad I didn't because this Delta is amazing. These arms go out nine feet. In fact, I'll do a review. I'll put it in the description when I get it done. So. So two huge gigantic thumbs up so far. Like I said, it's only been a few weeks. I've put a lot of use to it so far. Been very, very happy. So there it is, the Admiral Miter Saw from Harbor Freight.